Hi guys, welcome back. It's been a very, very long time and I am so glad to be somewhat settled into our house and ready to start making some more YouTube videos. I've always wanted to show you guys, <laughs> I've always wanted to show you guys what I do to strip Lucas's cloth diapers. So we've been using his cloth diapers for well, he's 16 months old today. So we've been using him for 16 months. And this is what I do whenever that ammonia smell starts to build up. And so I've made a full video for you guys of what we do and I'm ready to get into it. Okay, so like I said, we've been using Lucas's cloth diapers ever since he was a newborn. So these diapers, they go from, I think they go from five to 35 pounds. They're awesome. Um, I'll try to put the link down in the description box, but they're from Alva Baby. We ended up getting about five packs of those and we those that's all I've used. Now, if like my mom watches them or something, I usually give her disposable diapers so she doesn't have to deal with that. But every so often, you know, that ammonia smell does build up. That's when I decide to strip them. Now this is an all day process. To me, it's the most tedious task of cloth diapering, but as a whole, it's still worth it more than anything. Hold on, he wants more food. <laughs> okay, had to give more pepperonis. The way I have found that takes the smell out completely and it's not too harsh on them. I haven't had to replace any of the the elastic in his diapers. Um, all of the diaper pads are okay. I also have, I've been using the detergent that me and Macy made and I did a YouTube video on that. I'll link that down below too. So you can check that out if you want. Um, we're still going strong on that detergent. I have to look back when that video was because I know we were outside and I had a toboggan on, but I still have detergent left from that, so that's what I use for his diapers. Also, we have a diaper sprayer that is uh, hooked up to the toilet, and we just spray the diapers. It's not as complicated as it was even 10 years ago when I did cloth diapering for Macy. This is actually a lot easier, and it saved us a lot of money. So here we have, I have put hot water in the tub, and I've put all of the inserts in here. I usually put those in first. I've added a little bit of bleach in here, and I also added some borax, but I just fill it with hot water. I usually put the inserts in for first so they can soak up all of the water first, and then I put the liners on top because they don't really hold smell like obviously the pads do because that's where all of the pee and waste goes to. But here's the Clorox I use. It's a no splash formula. I just pour a little bit in there and then I pour a little bit of borax in there and I just leave it sit in there for a couple hours usually. Now here I've drained the water. Normally I would put these through a rinse cycle in the wash, like just drain them and put them in a rinse cycle. But because I was using the washer, I just actually took the diaper sprayer and was just spraying them off with cold water and rinsing them off the best way I could this way. Otherwise, I just do a cold wash cycle on, or a cold rinse cycle on the washing machine, and that works just as well, and just wring them out really good. Now, here's where I just grab all the inserts and the liners, and I'm just wringing them out. It's really hard to do with one hand, but normally I just take two hands and I wring them out the best I can, and I put them in a basket. Um, this way, I get all the extra water out of them. And then I'm going to put them outside. Now I have a couple different places I've done this before on a trampoline, but we don't have the trampoline set up. So I have the trailer, but I just lay the inserts out flat and then the liners also. I'm basically just wanting the sun to help bleach some of those stains out. And it actually does a really good job at it. Now when it comes in, I actually rinse them in this Nine Elements detergent and I do it because it has vinegar in it so it really helps. After the rinse cycle is done with that, then I actually do two wash cycles with this detergent. This is the one that Macy and I made. I run this through two washes and then I run it through the dryer on low heat. After I do all of that, 
obviously it's time to put all of these together um, but they actually look really good they smell really good this is usually when I tell Matthew to stick his nose in it and tell me it smells really good so that's how we do our cloth diaper stripping. I usually try to do that about every couple months or if I just notice that that smell is building up, that ammonia smell when I wash his diapers. And so then I'll just go ahead and strip them to get them back to like, back to neutral base. Now, um, if you have any other suggestions or something that works better for you, go ahead and drop it in the comments below. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Um, please make sure that you like this video and subscribe so you can get more content. I'm planning on doing more content now that we're somewhat settled. Um, some couponing hauls for sure. And then also I need to do a house tour. Um, show you before and afters because we've done a lot of work. And it looks a lot better, but we're nowhere near done. <laughs> so we'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.